Save Kyoto! Laura, there seems to be a lot of activity here this morning. What's going on? The Time for Climate Justice campaign are holding a campaign stunt this morning called Save Kyoto, Save Us All. We're trying to draw attention to the fact that the Kyoto Protocol is the only legally binding way that we can cut carbon emissions. It's the fairest way to do it and developed nations really must take the plunge, basically. We can't wait for the US to come on board the ship. We must make sure that Kyoto is put back on track here in Durban at the climate change talks. And what's the threat to Kyoto here? The threat to Kyoto is that countries do not agree a second commitment period. The US already not involved in Kyoto. Canada yesterday jumped ship, which was a real shame and we're very disappointed about that. We hope that the other developed nations really do pull together here and drive forward a second commitment period to Kyoto. And what would it mean for Kyoto to be saved? What needs to happen in these talks? At these talks, the 37 Annex 1 countries who are parties to the Kyoto Protocol need to agree at least a timetable of when the Kyoto Protocol second commitment period will come in. And why haven't they done it already? What's going wrong? <laughs> um, the, there are some concerns about political will. Some people are not feeling that they want to accept binding cuts because there are more developing nations that are emitting lots of carbon emissions. But on historic responsibility and capability, it's the developed nations. It's those 37 Annex 1 countries who are the ones who have emitted the most historically, so therefore they must cut the most. Thanks very much for joining us, Laura. You're welcome.